So I hope you people will think of the questions that I don't have. Rabbi Meir Kahanan is perhaps the most well-known Jewish leader in the world and certainly the most controversial. His fame started in 1968 when he organized the Jewish Defense League, which became notorious for its militant activities against the Soviet Union, as well as for its self-defense patrols in the inner city, which were meant to protect poor and elderly Jews. Arrested many times for his beliefs and convictions, at one point he served 11 months in a federal prison. Prior to finding the JDL, in the late 1950s to early 60s, Kahane worked as an FBI informant himself, infiltrating the John Birch Society under the name Michael King. The JDL is a racist and oftentimes violent group of Jewish supremacists that's not part of mainstream Jewry, but they are known for violent demonstrations and also committing mainly domestic acts of terrorism. Kahana called the man a dirty Arab. Kahana often refers to Arabs as dogs. I want to make it clear to those dogs that are standing there, there is no such thing as an Arab village in the state of Israel. It gives us greater strength. And it's not going to be long before we have the power to clean this place out. And that's where I want them out, out, out. In 1975, Kahani was arrested for leading an attack on police outside the Soviet UN mission and injuring two officers. Later that year, Kahani was accused for conspiring to kidnap a Soviet diplomat, bomb the Iraqi embassy in Washington, and ship arms abroad from Israel. His probation for a 1971 firebomb-making incident was revoked, and Kahani was found guilty of violating probation and served a one-year federal prison sentence. A list of Kahani and JDL crimes are on the FBI website. Its members and leaders, including Kahane's multiple acts of terrorism, are so prominent and unavoidable that even the Eliel have them listed on their site. Many Israeli soldiers make little secret of their support for Kahana, as do some of the settlers. If I were the settlers, I would, I would rampage through this town and put the fear of God into these Arabs. On February 25th, 1994, exactly a year after the 93 World Trade Center bombing, during the overlapping religious holidays of both Jewish Purim and Muslim Ramadan, one former JDL member, devout follower of Kahane, a New York Jewish doctor who later became an Israeli settler named Baruch Goldstein, walked inside the Ibrahim Mosque at the Cave of the Patriarchs compound in Hebron while carrying an IMI Galil and opened fire on a large number of Palestinian Muslims gathered for prayer inside. A man wielding an assault rifle fires 110 rounds before a mob stops him, bludgeoning him to death with a fire extinguisher. Dr. Baruch Goldstein, a fanatical right-wing Jew from a nearby Israeli settlement, had killed 29 Palestinians and seriously wounded 70 others. Baruch reportedly swore to take revenge for the killing of Kahana, infamously now known as the Goldstein Massacre. In an interview with Israeli radio less than three months ago, he seemed to warn of today's attack. With the help of the Almighty, we will found the state of Judah, and then we will know how to deal with them on our own. Today, after the attack, Israeli militants hailed him as a hero, the son of Meir Kahani calling him a Samson of his time, 